sure what to make of the lyrics though are you trying to be funny <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh no um as you can tell the first verse is you know it's quite serious mm. but in the second verse I wasn't trying to be funny I was just trying to get a message across <laughs> <laughs> okay so so what was the message exactly because oh of which the whole song yeah I mean what's little light okay so little light is basically telling the youth or everybody that we all have our inner potential or this little light in us and we need to you know develop it and let this potential grow mm. you know we need to express it fully okay and at the same time in the first chorus uh, no that's my second chorus where I'm shouting they know go feel stop me Charlie how basically people will try and bring you backwards you know there's people who want to there's some witches out there <laughs> who want to pull you back <laughs> when you are trying to um, carry out your talents and do things that you are passionate about. So the mm. song is just saying, whilst you are letting this talent grow, just ignore all envy, ignore all negative criticism and things like that. Right. Don't let it affect you. That's interesting. You yes. put it in such a catchy way. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, then let me make it even more catchy. It's also to motivate ECG. They should, just, <laughs> they should let their little light shine. <laughs> Stop putting it off, right? Yes. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. So there you have it. 
97.3 City FM studio guest is Sister Derby. Now, let me just say, this interview is also streaming live on YouTube. Go to youtube.com forward slash City FM videos. And not only do you get to hear us, you get to see us as well. And that's how we're rocking it. In the meantime, if you have questions that you'd like me to ask Sister Derby, please, by all means, you can tweet them at me. You can write on our Facebook page, etc., etc., etc. So someone sent me one on Twitter. Says, uh, "Hey, ask her why she talks like one love when she's on your show, but differently on the Diva show." <laughs> Jess, you know what I'm thinking? No, I don't know. Share it with me, Lester. <laughs> Diva show. Yeah. Nana, but show. Yeah. Have you been on there recently? Yes, I was there Saturday. I don't. You can tell him to ask Nanaba because I don't think I was speaking differently. Uh, maybe, <laughs> I don't speak differently. You know, maybe their sound quality is different from CFM. <laughs> sound quality. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> ah, but I like this song. Let me let me bring it back, Charlie. This is good. City FM. That girl. Just familiar. Like I'm sitting on to a version of something. Is it an Uncle Bar? Oh my God! This is the Derby. Beautiful Dino, Beautiful Dino, Beautiful Dino, Dino, them make the link up right now. They no go feast up me. Charlie how? how? <laughs> and, and, and I guess this is also coming on the back of um, the criticism that you also received from yes. your first song, uh, yes. Uncle Obama. Exactly. People had also. Oh, how's it been like? <laughs> um, it's been crazy. People getting angry, taking it personal. Um, Ghanaian girls living, some of them living in the U.S., telling me that I should learn American history. I don't know why I should learn American history. I, mean, I haven't finished history, learning yeah, about the and twine, you know, our people. Why should I go and learn about And yeah, people um, misunderstanding the song, saying I'm calling their president, the, the president of the, the monkey. And oh, I said, oh. So all I said to the girls, this was on Instagram, they were bashing a certain picture I'd put up with um, Juliet Ibrahim and his sisters rocking my tank tops. Okay. You know, the Uncle Obama right. promo tank tops. And I just said to them, hey, I w I'm just asking for a banana for my monkey. So if they don't have a banana, then I can't, there's nothing they can help me with. <laughs> and they're getting even more angry. So yeah, people are taking it very personal. And I, as for the Ghanaians living abroad taking it personal, as for that one, GA. Um, I don't see it as ignorance. I just see it as hate or just, you're just angry that one girl has so much vim to just do this. <laughs> and, and then other people too, who don't know me, I can understand. Even someone passed the comments, on the, on the YouTube video saying, oh, why do um, African directors always choose a fair girl to be the lead? Ah. <laughs> I know, right? You know, he said, ah. What's so all sorts anything? of comments. Like, that's my video. That's my song. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> and then I tell you about the comments where the girl said she wished me and my friends in the video died. Oh, how? And were buried with a shovel. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. People are really mean. <laughs> What do you think about cyberbullying? Now, there, there are lots, and I'm sure you've experienced it. I've oh, of course. my fair share, where people hide behind their phones and computers, yes, and because yes. you don't know who they are, mm -hmm. they just say whatever yes. they want to you yeah. anyhow. Yeah, to me, those people are insecure people, because when I go and check their accounts, usually there's no picture there. First of all, you're not even proud of your own self, <laughs> so you can't even show your face. Mm. Secondly, you are insulting someone who you secretly wish was your friend. I know, you want right? to be like. So that's just basically what it, what it is. So me, my message to fellow artists and people in the limelight, everyone in media and things like that, you know, um, broadcasters like yourself, um, yeah, just don't take it personal because if they were brave enough, they would say it to your face. And they are the same people who would meet you in public and, and then you are friendly you. and you are nice because and then that's how surprised. you, Jessica, then they are, then they are ashamed. Yeah. You realize that they are staring at you in a certain way, but they can't approach you because they feel guilty of what they've done. So I don't take it personal. Sometimes I just insult them back. 
Oh, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, just in a way, not really just insulting, but try to let them realize that what they are saying doesn't make sense or they are wrong. But sometimes when I think deep about it, I'm like, I'm wasting my time because certain people, no matter what you say or you try to rationalize, they still don't understand True. it. That's them. That's why they pass such a comment in the first place. So you just have to leave it. Yeah. But um, I'm sure from someone coming from, say, a beauty pageant, and we all know that you took part in Miss Malika <laughs> many years ago. Yes, when you I were presenting. Host, yes. yes, I was the host of it then. You know, and, and I mean, all the way down the line, mm -hmm. what you've managed to do, you were hosting a show on TV yes. and all that. How have you managed? I mean, mm -hmm. so here's what I'm saying. Mostly you had a lot of positive comments. You know, people send you messages, oh, you're so pretty. Yes, da, 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 da. Yes. And then all of a sudden there was Uncle Obama and you were getting hate mm -hmm, mail mm -hmm, and hate mm -hmm, messages. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How did you deal with that? Like, did you did it actually get to you at some point? I mean, I know you're putting up, because you've been through it over yes, the past yes. few months, I'm right? I'm trying to remember how to analyze. Like, was, did you read one particular comment that just broke your heart? Especially like this one you're saying where people said they wished you dead. Mm, hmm, I don't know. None of those comments can really break my heart. Um, it just makes me realize that we live in an effed up world and there's nothing you can do about the fact that people are totally different. And no matter what you think is right or no matter what you know is right, people will disagree with you. Mm. And also, sometimes it saddens me that some people are so ignorant in this you know, 2013. I don't know how to explain it, but obviously some of the comments are hurtful. But then I just take my time to see where it's coming from. And then they were not coming from correct places. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I hope you get to me. Yeah. yeah just. Do you have plans of taking this like the whole you're branching into music, if I can call it that, seriously? Are you planning on putting out an album? I mean. <laughs> What's this? Um, well, it's another trial error right? <laughs> after Uncle Obama. Yeah, ch tell them to link up, you know. <laughs> tell that video to link up so you can feature on my song. Um, okay, let's say with this new single, I'm now promoting it. I know with the video, it's going to help push it further. Um, I know, you know, the music industry in Ghana is actually is tough. So <laughs> if anything, if pushing it further, I would look at breaking into Nigeria. Right. But making an album, that's not in the pipeline right now. No, or in my thoughts. Not you no, do. no. Um, it's not, I, would, I like to do everything that's challenging and that's art, you know, but I don't think I can do that now. I mean, I can, but maybe I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> At the moment, I'm focusing on producing a music video for this new track Fantastic. because I believe it's the video that would help it go Push further. It. As Definitely. of now, it has a lot of buzz online. Mm. And as you already know, you are the first. Um, broadcaster to interview me. There you go. Yeah, on as Little Light as usual. <laughs> and yeah, so with the video, visuals help a lot. I believe that will help push it, push it, really push it. And um, I'm also focusing on launching my clothing line. I was about to ask you about yes, that. Yes, yes. How's you know? it going? Yeah, it's going quite well. I've actually been getting orders really? you know, from something I've just been doing out For of fun. Yeah, out of fun. <laughs> and um, Printex uh, promises to help me. Fantastic. Yes. So. I'll, I'll definitely do it. Even if it's a small launch, I'll still do it so at least I can say I've launched because I've been wanting to do it for a long time. So where exactly lies your passion? Is it with music or is it with fashion? <laughs> um, Ooh, I think with fashion. <laughs> with okay, fashion, yes. Amazing. yes. I mean, I do love music, but I won't say that's my 40-40. Mm. And um, yeah, so it's definitely... I love production. Even when I was in school and I studied, I did graphic design and... You know, I did publishing, but I love the production aspect. Okay. Where you actually print, where things actually get done. So I'm looking at going behind, you know, producing a new TV show, which is actually where I've, I've actually started working on that. Okay. So production and then, you know, um, producing clothes. So that's the fashion line. Okay. And as for the music, as I said, waiting to see where the video will take this new single to. Right. Yes. Let me read some comments coming through from okay. Facebook. Uh, Senna says, uh, just... I want to date her. What a beauty. Wow. Love you. Okay. That's from Senna Amiga. And then uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, oh, thank you, by the way. <laughs> Jemmy wants to know, says, how did you make it to the top? Hey, which top? I'm I know. At the top. Hey. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Um, if I am at the top, 
<laughs> what is that? Jem, Jem, Jemmy. Some Jemmy. Some guy called Jemmy. Um, just, I, I just do what I love. And I don't, you know, some people say, ah, but what are you? What is your career? And I'm like, everything, wherever there is, I, I'm never idle. Even if it's a music video and someone calls me to be production assistant, I'm there. Or to style okay. the girls, I'm there because it's all linked to me. It's Absolutely. all linked to fashion and my passion for productivity, you know, production. Right. Like recently, I was a production assistant and stylist on David Doe and D Black's video. Okay. So I styled about 20 girls, nice. organized the makeup artists for it, and um, I assisted Fantastic. in every way on set. That day, I wasn't shooting for my TV show, Glitterati. I wasn't in the studio recording, so why not? Mm. If I'm getting paid for it, why not? So everything to do with art and to do with the entertainment industry, I'm there. You know what, Akosia, I'm, I'm, I'm having a very interesting idea. Why don't we invite her on Expressions, huh? Expressions of a Crown. City FM has a fashion show. Okay. That we do yearly. It's called Expressions of a Crown. We'll talk about it later. Maybe okay, nice, if you're nice. interested in doing something like that, you know, we could put you in there. Why not? You know, just showcase your designs. Yeah, yeah why not? You know, I would love that. It would be exciting. I, I think so that. too. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, uh, last year we featured the uh, Elikim. Oh, my brother, okay. Elikim Taylor, yes. he did so well. I'm excited that uh, he, he actually went as far as he yes, did, yes. you know, and, and hopefully this year we'll be getting him back as well. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so someone says to ask you, it's from Jeffrey, says, ask her whether she ever gets bored. She always seems very excited. <laughs> oh, um, maybe like five days in a year I can be bored. Just bored because maybe I'm lazy to get up and drive to the beach or... Yeah, sometimes I'm lazy. That's when I get bored. Otherwise, I'm never really bored. I'm either reading a book or I'm on, you know, what, um, online. <laughs> what, what type of books do you read? My favorite is um, African literature. Nice. Yes, nice. my favorite. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Zach says, Jess, I will name my first daughter after Sister Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> tell, them, tell them to write about the new song. What do you think about the new song? I only get tweets about my face. In my hair. Yeah, I know. Like, people <laughs> go about that all the time. Like, oh, you're so pretty. Oh, you're so beautiful. What do you think about this song? <laughs> yeah, what do you guys think about the song? It's called Little Light. Uh, in case you haven't heard it, I'll bring it back just one last time so you can enjoy it. But before I do that. <laughs> There's an exciting day coming up. I'm talking about Soul to Soul this Friday at Plus 233 Jazz Bar and Grill. It's the capital's favorite retro music jam. And it's, you know, basically comes off every first Friday of the month. So take note and join City FM for this one. This Friday features the Shabo Crew Band and it promises to be exciting. You'll be performing all your favorite old school tracks and more. Wine and dine on drinks and grills, plus complimentary kinky, fish, pork, champagne cocktails, all on the house. It's Soul to Soul, a plus two, three, three jazz bar and grill this Friday, the 6th of September. And this particular edition is supported by the Ghana Free Zones Board. It is the ultimate hangout. And do remember that the time is here once again for Corporate Ghana to stand up and be counted. Healthy out-of-office competition, limitless networking opportunities, refreshing times and more await you at the 7th edition of City Business Olympics. It's happening at Kokrobite, Muston Beach on Saturday, the 21st of September, 2013. On that holiday, compete with other companies in a game of five-a-side beach soccer, beach volley, tug-of-war, lime and spoon race, uh, the business obstacle course, and so many others. Now, if you are planning on participating, getting your company to participate, pick up a phone and speak to us today. Call 0302-226013. The earlier you register, the better. All right, uh, City Business Olympics is sponsored by Vodafone Business Solutions, always there to help your business succeed. Now, I'm just curious to know whether Stan Big Bank will maintain their beach soccer trophy and whether Danix Ghana Limited, their women's team, will win tug of war for a third time running. Shall I to see some of those women pulling the ropes? <laughs> Will Lene Services maintain the 50-meter dash for women title? Ooh. Will Rockstar's group be able to defend their female arm wrestling title? It's all going down at Muston Beach, Kokrobite, 21st September. 
you don't miss out on this one. It's powered by 97.3 City FM. Plus, shortly, we'll be going into the entertainment news. So feel free to just, you know, stay with us and get updated on what's going on in the world of entertainment. So I'll bring the track back one last time before I wrap up the conversation with Sister Derby. It's called Little Light, brand new and on air. That girl, just familiar, like I'm sitting on to a Russian country. City FM. Oh my god, this is the Derby! Try, try to link up, yeah. I did fly, fly, go everywhere. More than Kakai for the nice man. This little light of mine. I go make it this little light of mine. I go make it this little light of mine. I go make it, I go make it this little light of mine. I go make it, I go make it shine. Now, Jess, only one more airtime play can make it a hit or else, unless God. Oh, because <laughs> if people pay for a show and you play this music, hmm. Oh, are you sure, Lester? He <laughs> says, uh, trust Jessica to hype a nya song till it hits. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> Haters. <laughs> Hateration. No, you know, listen, I actually, like, I'm not even, like, I'm not patronizing you or anything. I actually do like the track. I mean, when I like a song, I play it. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, Charlie, that be the whole story. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. Antoinette, well, finally says, uh, the new song is great, very catchy. Same thing I'm thinking, uh, uh, Antoinette. Um, David says, um, sister, one love. You'd be one in a million. <laughs> Someone also wants to know, says, what about movies? You're funny. Will you do well in that field too? Have you ever thought of acting? I have, I have. Yes. But um, I've just been taking my time. I... I've been offered about seven roles, but um, for one reason or the other, I didn't take it up or I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to go, should I go into detail? Sure, why not? Okay, so the first role I was offered, uh, Majid actually called me in 2010 when I moved back to Ghana from London after doing my master's. And okay. I was randomly called to play, a, obviously not a lead role, um, but a supporting role. <laughs> Wait, why is Akosia laughing? <laughs> it's not because of what I'm saying. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> 
in four play reloaded. So I was like, nah, if I'm going to start in Charlie. the movie industry, I'm not going to start Ooh, on that movie note. like that. <laughs> yeah. So and then other other roles, you know, um I want to do a movie that the director or you know, the people producing it are more into the art of it. I mm. want to do a movie that let's say like Leila Jansi's movies. Right. Or even maybe Shirley? Shirley's movies yeah. or Kwawansa, those okay. type of movies, but not movies that portray kind of a false Africa. Don't, or don't you want something from Kumawood? You know, Kuma <laughs> I've heard of it. The, um, who, which kind of actors which are in there? Actors. Like, I wouldn't mind doing the movies from Kumasi. Okay, okay. No, no, I don't know. But <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing a movie with Ejako. Yeah. Because if I'm doing a Ghanaian local movie, then it should be that. I can totally see her, like you, <laughs> as um, a wife of Ejako. You know, someone who the, will probably say, oh, she just came down from America. <laughs> and, you know. You Actually, I won't be able to do the accent. The slang, you see. And the only thing I can do is the one that I did in the song. Hey, Peter. Hey, Paul. Hey, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's, a, that's a slurring. the slurring. The slurring. That's the only one I can do. So it will be fake. I know someone who can teach you very well. Too. But next year, I'm supposed to be in Pascal Aka's movies, an action movie. Okay. So that one for Shizzle. That should be yes, good. Yes, 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 yes. First, you've heard it on 97.3. Oh, and I took into acting school last summer. Oh, did you now? Yes. Because I said... um. Me being a TV presenter or being on TV doesn't necessarily mean I can act. Sure. Because I didn't want, let's say, Leila Jansi would call me and then I'll flop at the audition. Some way, Some way crap. <laughs> because they said, oh, your face is pretty, so you're going to act. Oh. <laughs> so I took um, lessons last summer. And the main thing I learned was that acting for TV is different from acting for film. So like okay. the TV commer commercials I've done, like the Vodafone, etc. And some cream and other ones I did for from francophone countries. Mm. Um, that's acting for TV. So it's more theatrical. It's okay. more exaggerated. Okay. Which we see in our Ghanaian movies. Yes, we do. <laughs> but yes, that's acting for TV. So I went to learn how to act for film. Right. Uh -huh. okay. So at least there's some this small film there. You're yes. educating me there. I, I have no clue <laughs> what it looks like. So uh, El Dico says, oh my God, this girl be too much. Just like one love. Just ask her uh, if she is single, then I'm hers, okay? <laughs> hey. <laughs> yes, I'm single. Uh, someone also wants to know when you'll get married. No idea. Mm. Sadia says, uh, <laughs> I love little light. Keep it up. Thank uh, you. Keep going. Uh, Reynolds says, Derby. Oh, got shout out to Reynolds. You know him? He, yeah, he tweeted at me. Nice I know one. Him. Nice I know one. Him. Says, thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> so let's wrap up this conversation. So well, the next thing is to shoot the video for Little yes, Light. Yes. Yes. Have you got the concept and everything in line? Of course. Fantastic. I've got the concept. It's obviously, I mean, always original. Like everything I do. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So, uh, yeah. And, um. I've asked people to put out videos of themselves, as in film themselves, dancing to my new song, Little Light. Okay. And if I'm impressed, they'll get paid to be in my video. Nice. I've already been very impressed by three kids. Um, you probably know them, Lady Brenda Ash and her brothers, okay. Carl, oh. and yeah, cool. they did a very interesting, in fact, I'll send you the link. You Please do, I'd love to watch it. <laughs> yeah, so they are definitely going to be in the video. Everyone, everyone that's going to be in my video as an extra, an actor, an actress is going to be paid, obviously. Of course. Yeah, so we'll be shooting the video very soon, and uh, next up, launching my clothing line with the help of Printex, and I'll be coming out with my own TV show pretty soon as well. So I'll be producing that. So that's what's next for good, Sister Derby. Good luck to thank you. you. That sounds thank like you. you've got a plan. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be watching you on the si sidelines and, okay. and wishing you very well. Thank you so much. All Thanks. right. And uh, good luck with that track as well. Little Light. You never know. If Jessica plays a couple of times, it's a hit. <clears throat> yeah. Please I'm ignore just the hater. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. 24 minutes away from midday. Coming up shortly is the entertainment news. But here's a song that I absolutely also want to play.